A few years ago, I read a little story about a very clever fifth grade teacher. One day she walked into the classroom and she asked the students, can anyone here move a tree from this side of the street over to the other side? The students looked at her and said, of course not. A tree is just too heavy. We wouldn't be able to do it. Then the teacher smiled at them and said, yes, you can. And then she held out a seed. And she explained to them that a seed is full of potential. Inside a seed, there's a plant, a vine, or maybe even a tree. In the Gospels, Jesus frequently compares his word to a seed. In his parables, especially the parable of the sower of the seed and the mustard seed, Jesus teaches us that his word is full of potential. His word has the capacity to change us. It is the capacity to make us who he wants us to be, his disciples, his true people. In other words, the word of Jesus, the word which we listen to very, very frequently, has the power to help us live in his kingdom. What we have to do is to open the door. Open the door and receive that word. But so often, we don't listen to Jesus. We pour and pay more attention to other voices, other words. Words which call us to the opposite of what the gospel calls us to do. The gospel calls us to love, to hope in the Lord, to believe, to put the Lord first. But we listen to others who tell us, think about yourself first. Believe in your riches, in what you have. Commit this sin and you'll find your happiness. A very important part of our daily lives is making resolutions, changing, deciding to live the gospel. St. James in his letter puts it very, very well. He said, we are called, yes, to listen to the word of God. We're called to take it a step further. We're called to put that word into action. He says, if all we do is listen to the word, it does not take root in us. But putting it into practice changes us. This evening and today, throughout the day, we have honored Mary, our mother of perpetual help. She is the model of one who listened to the word of God and acted on that word. We see her receiving the good news that her cousin Elizabeth is with child and will give birth soon. And we see her rushing off to see the sign the Lord has given her. We see her listening to Simeon the prophet who tells her that a sword will pierce her heart. And her reaction is trust. Trust in the Lord. Quiet acceptance of his will. And most importantly, we see her listening to her son. Her son spoke the good news and Mary listened and believed firmly in him. That's why we see her so confidently accompanying the Lord in his passion standing at the foot of the cross, knowing in her heart that this is not the end. 
each one of us is called to be like Mary. To be people who listen to God's word. Really and truly listen to it. And who put that word into action. We are called to be people who really and truly believe. Who hope. Who try to love day in and day out. Today, tomorrow, the next day. Let us ask Mary, our mother of perpetual help, who always intercedes for us, to help each one of us to be like her, to be people who listen to God's word and put it into action, people who resolve every day to receive the word of God and to act on it. Through the intercession of our Lady of Perpetual Help, may Almighty God bless all of you and all of your loved ones.